Welcome to Canyon PD's Tip of the Day, where educators can find tips, tricks, and ideas that serve, support, and inspire students. Today's tip is all about online organization for the teacher and the students. If you don't already have a digital shoebox for all of those assignments your students will be doing at home, well, it's time to set one up. My children's schools both use Google Apps for education, so Google Drive is my organizational tool of choice. I know that there are other services like Dropbox and Amazon that provide cloud storage, so if that's what's working for you, then keep doing it. But here's what I'm going to say at this point. If your students create a digital portfolio, not only will they have a go-to location to put their prize pieces of work, but later they can add accomplishments like awards, certificates, and resumes for when they prepare to go to work. So let me show you how easy it can be done. I'm going to navigate over to Gmail uh, if you have a Gmail account. And if you don't have a Gmail account, it's super simple to make one. But here's my Gmail account. So just in case this is where you first end up because you don't have a Google account, this is what it'll look like. And over here on the right hand side, you'll see these uh, windows or you could call it the waffle over here. If you click on that, all of the Google apps that come with the G Suite uh, show up. Uh, there are so many to choose from, so don't get too overwhelmed. Just meet me here at Drive. So I click on Google Drive, which is like a repository for all of your digital storage needs. Um, as you can see, my storage is almost full. And then afterwards, I've got to buy some if I'm interested. But really, it's just about cleaning up my organizational life, right? That's, uh, that's an interesting concept. At this point, what I'm going to do is come over here to this um, button that says New. I'm going to click a folder, and I highly recommend always starting with a folder because you can label this folder and keep things organized. Now here I want to create a digital portfolio for my children at home because let's say I'm, um, I want to make sure that my kids continue this um, organizational habit as they move on. So I might call this portfolio. I have two kids, Aiden and Cade, so I'm going to go ahead and make this one for Cade. Um, and I'm going to click Create. Now, ideally, you're going to want Cade to create his own digital portfolio. It depends on how old he is, right? My kid's a teenager, so he should be able to do this on his own and share the folder with me. But I'm going to show you how to share it with them. So now that I've created it, I'm just going to double click on it. And right here, this little arrow button, if I click here and I click share, I happen to know my son's email address, um, especially at school, iraza1 at pvlearners.net. That's a Gmail address, but also his regular Gmail address is a great idea to share it with so that he, um, in case I move or something, he'll have these items with him. So that's kdaraza at gmail.com. Here I click a send button and that's going to send to him editing rights for this folder. So there, that is to, to share that with my son. Here when I'm in here, I'm going to click new and click a Google Doc. I'm going to create and share that document and right in here I'm going to give him his weekly assignments. So we've done a couple of things. We've set up his Google portfolio and here I'm going to call this weekly assignments. So his digital weekly assignments are now located in his digital portfolio. And here's what I can say. Uh, assignment number one, run around the block five times and record your time intervals. Let's see if he can get faster as the weeks go on. That's just a quick route to get your students started with a digital portfolio, and I quickly showed you how to share. There's more to come. Thank you so much for watching our quick tip of the day, and happy organizing to you. Thank you for empowering others to fulfill their purpose. See you next time.